So here, start. So the low speed will start first, and then at a given time, it will change automatically to high speed. Hello, my good friend. You are welcome to my channel. So this is Obloni Electrical. And at this channel, I teach practical electrical wiring of different electrical circuits, ranging from motor control circuits to general electrical wiring systems, which include how to properly wire electrical systems, how to properly wire different switches, electrical sockets, and anything around electrical wiring. I also have videos on how to do various tests on electrical wiring circuits and many, many more that will be of help to you, whether you are a professional electrician or as somebody who is just enthusiastic about electrical engineering. Okay, there are simple, simple things that you can do by yourself and there are other things that you can do by the help of an electrical wiring professional. And... The good aspect of it is that any video you watch on my channel and you want to practice it, you can contact me directly for help. If you are new to my channel, it will be good for you to subscribe so that you get notified anytime I post another video. And please, anytime you watch any of my videos, let me know how you feel about it at the comment section. If you like any of the videos, do well to click on the like button and share with other friends who would also benefit from it. And in case you want to practice any of the videos on my channel, most of them are easy to do by yourself. And there are others that you will need my help to be able to do them properly. Anytime you feel you need my assistance, feel free to contact me. I can help you to do any of my works online in case you need my assistance. Very well. So let's look at what we have here. So this circuit you are seeing here, is a circuit that has been designed to operate different electrical motors at the same time. Okay, so what this circuit to be doing specifically is to be able to operate a motor that is designed to move at two different speeds. Okay, so there are motors that have high speed and then low speed. There is a connection that goes for the low speed and there is another connection that goes for the high speed. And then at the same time, there is another motor that will also have to operate both reverse and forward in the same system. So the whole system works together. And so in the circuit, you see there are five contactors. Now, three of the contactors will be used for the operation of the low and high speed motor. And then the other two contactors on the right will be used for the forward and reverse operation of the motor. This is a one system, and then all these motors operate together. All right, so now let's first look at how the system works. These two contactors are for the bull motor. This one for forward, and then this one for reverse direction of the motor. Okay, then we come to the spiral motor for the mixing. So that one also makes use of three contactors. This is the common contactor. This contactor will always be closed whenever the system is activated. But these two will have to switch over as and when you want the low speed or the high speed to activate. So I wired this for high speed and then it's connected to this indicator light. So when this contactor is working, this red light will shoot. And then this is wired for low speed and it is connected to this indicator light. So when it is low, this light will shoot. This is the stop for the spiral motor. This is the start for the spiral motor. So when you start, per the time you set for the change to happen, then it will automatically change to high speed, like this. So here, start. So the low speed will start first, and then at a given time, it will change automatically to high speed. All right, so just like that. So it will run on high speed until you switch the system off. Then let's come to the bowl motor also. The bowl motor also has these two contactors, as I said. This one for forward movement, and it is connected to this indicator light. This one for reverse movement, and it is connected to this indicator light. 
it also has these three push buttons. This push button is for reverse, and then this one is for forward. So forward, forward, reverse, reverse, forward. Okay, so the same thing. When you want to start, you want to start, and you want the motor to start by running forward or running clockwise, then you switch this one. This will activate. This light will show that it is working clockwise. If you want to reverse it, the system has to go off, and then you reverse it. When it is going reverse, this light should tell you that it is going reverse. Okay. The power circuit is wired in a way that these two contactors must not close at the same time. And so this is electrically interlocked, which means that even if one is working, for instance, this reverse contactor is working now. If by mistake somebody wants to close this also, this one must go off before this one closes, just like this. So that at any time, only one of these contactors will be working. So when the system is working, even if by mistake somebody wants to close this contactor, the whole system must go off. All right, so let's go off again. So I want to start by starting the bull motor. So it starts, and then I want to start the spora motor. It goes like this. The spora motor changes to high speed automatically. This one is controlled manually, so it has to go off before you operate the reverse. All right, so in case you are an electrical wiring professional, there is a system you want to design to operate a set of motors, or there is a panel you want to build, and then you have the idea, but you are finding it difficult to come out with the design and the construction. Please, you can contact me on this very number showing on the screen now. And then, um, actually, it doesn't matter the distance. If you are able to make me understand the idea and what you want to do, I can help you to come out with a very comprehensive design that will help you to do it by yourself. In the next video, I'll bring a very significant circuit that is a little bit complex than this one. And then I will show you its practical application. And then I have a thorough design that makes it very simple in case you want to do the same thing by yourself. So be in anticipation and let's learn together. If you have any contribution to any of the works I do on this channel, please share it with us and let's all learn together. If you have any idea that you want to practicalize, please you can contact me. We'll do a design and then we'll show it here to help others. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to everyone who believes in Obloni Electrical and thank you to all my fans. Please keep watching the videos, keep learning. If you think there is any way I can improve on any of my videos you watch, please kindly let me know so that we improve and learn together. Thank you very much again. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video to all your friends who may also benefit from it. See you in the next video.